school boarders too. Although the control has some basis in snowboarding physics, we still don't feel the action at all. The game is about as immersive as Pong. Nothing feels natural. You press and hold X to charge your jump. Only when you let go of X does the jump occur. Whether this correlates to snowboarding or not, it's still awkward. You can't change direction while charging, and you can never see a hill in time to charge up for a big jump off it. Also, 90% of the steering is done with sharp turns that are hard to control. The game has more modes than Carter has pills. A competition mode, a half pipe mode, a freestyle mode, a big air mode, a board park mode, modes, modes, modes. What about a better game mode? The whole business of performing tricks is too much of a focus in the game. You can't succeed in any of the decent modes unless you take the time to learn the stunts. All of the courses are poorly designed and very boring, leaving little left to speak good of. There is just one highlight. The narrator from last year isn't as tripped up on saying the word cool like a surfer dude 12 million times in a row. The only real reason Cool Borders was even made is to reel in all those college-age skiers. Skiing is very popular with that crowd, and the game comes out just as college kids are getting their semester break. Perfect timing.